So what a night. We got like 180, 185 mils of rain in like, in like three hours. <clears throat> so van held up well. We're in like that much water. Like down there, where the legs are, they were like submerged about that much. So van held up well, no leaks. So pretty happy with that. Um, we're about to go to Cobb Co. Um, this rain shouldn't really hang around for that much longer, but I mean, if you can kind of see the grass over there, it's it was like a massive downpour. But anyway, it's all good. We survived. Off to Cobb Co. for a few days. I think we're there till Friday. We're actually free camping, so no power, no water. So we're going to go find some water. Um, obviously, we've got solar on top, so we should be right. Hopefully, it. Um, turns into an okay week and it's not raining the whole time then we'll be in a little bit of trouble but anyway that's the joys and that's what we're willing to do so if we have to rough it we'll rough it but looking forward to it looking forward to see what this beast can do um, and look it's a learning curve guys it really is you know we've pulled stuff out we've put stuff in there's more stuff we want to get there's more stuff we want to take out I've heard people take 12 months to really sort out their van so it's a cool learning curve and um, you know you just adapt to your situation so stay tuned for Cobb Co. Cobb & Co. We, um, we went through a couple of dirt roads that we weren't supposed to. So I'm gonna go, let me clean that. I'm gonna go check out the van and see how she went. Uh, as you can see, it's... Getting everything up, getting it all level. his birthday. We are letting him play around freely. Go buddy. Run free. Run free child. We had pancakes this morning for his breakfast. We got a bike for his birthday and we've transferred a heap of money into his bank account for his birthday. We can't have presents anymore these days. We're just going to have to do bank account which is good because when the kids turn 18 they'll have a heap of money in there to buy their first car. So that's the plan for us for their kids birthdays for the next time ever many years. <laughs> Silence. 
silencio Mirarnos fijamente por siempre, baby Question air time Questions? Let's answer some questions What is the best thing about Cobb Co so far? Best thing about Cobb Co? The goat that's sitting up on that. Thing. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute when we oh, get mate, closer. Billy. His name's Billy. How much is Cobb and Co per night? This way. I think it's $140 for three nights, and that's on a unpowered side, yep. but we have as much room as we want. Here's the goat Brent's talking about. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> what a legend. What a boss. He's chilling. Hey, Billy. <laughs> Cool questions. Um, what questions would we get about Cobb & Co? What are the facilities like? Facilities are incredible actually. There's a toilet block over there. One, two, three lots of toilets and showers. Showers are really clean. They actually had a family um, shower as well in the male's toilet that they allowed us to use um, because we've got obviously Kobe and Maddie so we can use the family ones. Um, but yeah, I like the facilities, they're brand new, well they're pretty new, flushing toilets and normal toilets as well with white toilet seats. Fourth question. Yes, Mummy. I've got it. This um, question is going to come up mad. everywhere we go. 100% guaranteed. 100%. Okay. 110% guaranteed that this question will come up, right? What's the coffee like? Oh yes. Okay. Coffee. We got a double shot this morning. It was very strong. Probably. A little bit more caramel. A bit more caramel, I think, and maybe a sweetener as well. Yeah, a little bit. It was a bit rough, but still a lovely coffee. Yeah, coffee lovers. But, um, coffee lovers. but I really love it because there's so much to do here. Pony rides are $5 for five minutes. That's okay. I think we've paid 10 bucks for about half an hour back at the Big Four. Yeah. That's mainly because Maddie fell off, I'd say. There's two things that we're going to judge when we're going around Australia. The chicken palmies and the coffees. So get get ready for some chicken palmy and coffee judging. say that your biggest struggle to date is <laughs> oh, right just chewing just chewing what, what about you sir yep I think he's just a little bit pissed off about the length of his his goatee you know and I'll mate here <clears throat> I don't know what the go is with this fella but he just eats and eats and eats and he's um I know he's hungry. He's a hungry entrepreneur. But um he's very aggressive. Very, very aggressive entrepreneur. I've seen him. 
I've seen him barge this poor fella and this poor fella out of the way for a feed. And that's old mate Billy over here. Billy, what do you got to say for yourself, bro? Just blunt. <laughs> Extremely blunt. But anyway, um, I hope you really enjoyed that interview. And um, stay tuned uh, for next week's episode of Talking with the Animals about entrepreneurship.